Hello, I'm Chris Parr. I'm the VP uh, for Refractories Abrasives for Construction in Science and Technology. Hello, I'm Frédéric Jouffre. I'm the VP for Science and Technology within the Performance Mineral EMEA. I'm uh, also looking at uh, globally what Performance Mineral is doing in, in science, both in uh, Asia and uh, in the US. We have a total of uh, seven IMRIS technology centers. If I look at France, we have an IMRIS technology center working for refractory abrasives construction in Lyon. We have one in, in Toulouse, huh, where uh, we are filming today, huh, where we are working mainly in, uh, in polymer, uh, filtration of science and uh, a new uh, lab for, uh, for ceramics. And then if we move around Europe, uh, we have an IMRIS technology center in Austria, and this activity is focused on abrasives advanced ceramics and high temperature solutions. Okay, we have one also in, in the UK, uh, in, uh, in Barmore, uh, uh, where we are working mainly in analytical and uh, also paper and, uh, and board. And what about the uh, Asia? I think we have a yes. common lab, huh, Chris. If we go to China, uh, we have an ITC uh, image technology center, Tianjin, uh, located in, in China near the city of Tianjin. Uh, this was originally a rack facility working for refractories and building and infrastructure. And recently we've created a common laboratory uh, working for performance minerals in the area of... Um, of pen and coating. So we are just starting now to have the technical development done in, uh, in China. And we'll continue in 2021 uh, developing that uh, probably in, uh, in polymer uh, in Tianjin. And finally, we can speak about America. Uh, we have one major lab for us uh, in uh, Atlanta, in Johns Creek. Eh? Uh, where we are developing uh, polymer, filtration, life science, and also other uh, specialty topics that are key for our development uh, in America. And for graphite and, and carbon, we have uh, two labs, one major one in Veronico in, uh, in Switzerland, uh, where we are making all of our uh, new uh, development for uh, active carbon or, or, or new uh, conductive carbon that we want to use in uh, mobile energy, and uh, a satellite one in, uh, in Japan. Yeah, globally uh, within IMRIS, we have an investment of somewhere around uh, 50 million euros annually uh, in terms of science and technology towards the innovation effort. All of that is done in, in people, of course, in investment, but it could do also on CapEx, huh, investing in, in new machinery to be uh, always a state of the art of uh, what we're developing in terms of uh, application labs, and, uh, both uh, in Europe, but also in other parts of the world. Huh? Exactly. And I think, you know, uh, it's important to note that uh, as a group we do practice a differentiation of investment. In other words, the amount of money we allocate to each market segment is in phase with their ambitions and their individual roadmaps and their maturity in their marketplace. So that this, the number we can invest uh, will range from market segment to, to market segment across the, the immersive segments we, we work with. new products that we take it as a definition of being less than, than five years old. Uh, within the, the refractories of various construction area, we have a number of new technology platforms uh, coming to fruition, and these will allow us to spin off new products. Perhaps one I can cite is in the area of high performance abrasives, and actually being able to shape individual grains of sol gel uh, abrasives, which will lead to new levels of performance for our customers, particularly in the field of coated abrasives. And perhaps a last comment in the area of 3D printing, which again is a common theme that we have within IMRIS, independently of whether we're talking about performance minerals or we're talking about refractories, abrasives, construction or HDS. We all have different subjects working in this area. And perhaps one example I could cite of some new products we're launching this coming year is materials to facilitate the printing of ceramic cores that are part of the manufacture of gas turbine or aero engine uh, blades. It's a super technical area, uh, very demanding, very specific, uh, yet we found an ability to deliver value through 3D printing in this area. Mm -hmm.